It's been a headache for drivers. Construction on I-10 is now getting done in three phases. The first part near Henderson is already complete. A ribbon cutting to mark the end of the construction took place last month. The second part of that construction project from I-49 to Bro Bridge is expected to wrap up this summer. Our Victor Georges joins us live in Lafayette to tell us what we can expect when the expansion is complete. Victor. Great, so they tell me that this process started in 2017 and the department says that as soon as they're done with everything, the drivers are going to be able to see a difference. Now, while we were out here, we found out about a fire that was down the street, on, down the interstate, I'm sorry, that caused the highway to close. Both lanes are congested for about two miles each way and where we are in Louisiana Avenue, you can see the congestion forming. If you're heading out, LA 347 is still closed. You're encouraged to use an alternate route. But back to the status of the construction on I-10, the phase from I-49 to Bro Bridge has been four years in the making. District Engineer Administrator for the Lafayette District, Michael DeSalle, says right now they're focusing on laying asphalt on the ramps, incorporating them onto I-10 and adding sealant to bridge decks. The third and final part of I-10 remodel goes from Brobridge to Henderson. This phase of the project started in 2019. It is expected to be done by summer 2022. The DOTD says a large investment has been made and they hope people notice a difference. The, the total investment for all three of these sections of I-10, which goes from I-49 all the way to the Basin Bridge, is in excess of $260 million. So a significant investment in, in our infrastructure and I think the traveling public are, are going to see the benefits through added capacity and a, a smoother roadway whenever we complete it. The DOTD wants drivers to be alert and slow down, follow speed limit when they're going through these construction zones because there's a lot of workers that are working very, very close to the traffic. Live in Lafayette, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.